This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. To investigate the zoom capability of a crystal report, we're going to make use of the My First Report, which is available in your working folder. Now, to zoom in or out of a report in Crystal Reports, we have this option here in the bottom status bar, Zoom, where we can click plus, 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 and you'll see it gets closer and closer and closer, or minus, 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 and it gets further and further away. The percentage here displayed shows where you currently are, so we're currently at 100%, but I could go right down or right up. And you can even click on the percentage and physically type in a percentage or choose fit to one dimension or fit the whole page. Just to the left of there, we have two other options. One is zoom to the page width, so it'll make the width of the page fit on the screen, or zoom to see the whole page, in which case it'll make both the height and the width fit. Now, although that's quite small to see, it can be quite useful to see a whole page to get a feel for the layout of a report, particularly if you're creating an invoice or a document that needs to be sent out. So that's whole page, page width, or you can zoom to where you like to go by dragging this slider or going minus minus plus plus plus. So if I make this fit on the whole page, it's illegible, but it gives me a feel for where we're at. And then go into design, you'll see that design does not have the same zoom setting. It's still at 100%, which is where it was originally. So I could zoom in totally independently in design and preview. They retain their own zoom settings. So I could be at 91% here, which is small enough to see, but large enough to work with. And then I go to preview to see how that's going to look in printing format. So that is quite hard to work with because it's tiny, but I could do all the work in design and then go to preview to see what it will look like. So you adjust the zoom settings down here on the bottom right by dragging the slider, clicking the plus or the minus, physically clicking on the percentage to set your setting, making it zoom to the page width, making it zoom to the whole page. Those exact same controls are available in preview and design and act independently of each other. And then the really big icing on the cake with the zoom options are that they are retained when you save and close a report. So if I'm working on this first report and I save and close it, it will remember that in design view, we're working at 91% and in preview, we're working at full page on view. So I don't have to change every time I reopen the report. Any other report I open will be at the default of 100% in both views until we adjust them, make saves, and those saves then retain the zoom settings still independent of each other in preview and design.